You're watching PNN, the Parody News Network. Hello and welcome to PNN. I'm Barnaby Wild. We have breaking news at the top of the hour. Johnny Lawrence of the Cobra Kai Dojo has won his third straight All-Valley Under-18 Karate Tournament. For more details on this rapidly developing story, let's go right away to our chief All-Valley Under-18 Karate Tournament correspondent, Carmen Waxon. Carmen, what's the latest? Well, Barnaby, Cobra Kai Sensei John Kreese is all smiles at this hour as his star pupil captures his third straight championship. Johnny Lawrence advanced to the finals by defeating a longtime rival with three unanswered points in the semifinals, and then won the championship when his opponent, Daniel LaRusso of Miyagi Karate, was forced out after suffering what appeared to be a torn ACL in his left knee. As you know, an injury that severe can't just be miraculously cured. Certainly not by Western medicine anyway. So we're just waiting out LaRusso's 10-minute grace period, after which Lawrence will be presented with a very impressive trophy. Barnaby. All right, thank you, Carmen. Certainly a tournament for the ages. Let's check in with our other All Valley Under 18 Karate Tournament correspondent, Cody Waxoff. Cody, how did the bracket shake out this year? Well, Barnaby, certainly a challenging tournament to track because, as you know, aside from Johnny Lawrence, none of the other Cobra Kais have last names. And aside from Daniel LaRusso, none of the other fighters have first names, so even though we know that Brown managed to win over Hall, Lawrence advanced over Espinoza, and LaRusso bested Smith, none of that really means anything. Yes, that does sound challenging. Tell me, Cody, what's the reaction on social media been like? Well, upon the realization that Johnny Lawrence had won the tournament, teammate Tommy tweeted, defeat does not exist in this dojo, hashtag Johnny the Ace Degenerate, hashtag get him a body bag. Uh, teammate Dutch tweeted simply, dead meat, hashtag more like Danielle LaRusso, it's sexist there, Dutch. Uh, and teammate Jimmy tweeted, head of the class, hashtag coming to ABC. What, what does that mean? So certainly a jubilant atmosphere here at the tournament as we wait for our winner to be officially announced. Barnaby? All right, excellent reporting as always, Cody. Thank you. While we await the official announcement, I'd like to bring in our third All Valley Under 18 Karate Tournament correspondent, Dennis Sandiflor. Dennis, it's hard to recall a tournament that had this much buzz and anticipation, especially when it came to Lawrence and LaRusso. Can you give us some backstory there? I sure can, Barnaby. Apparently, a deep animosity has existed between LaRusso and Lawrence ever since LaRusso arrived in Los Angeles. Several people I spoke with recounted an altercation between the two at a beach bonfire, where Lawrence simply wanted to speak with his ex-girlfriend, Allie Mills, and LaRusso evidently escalated the situation until it came to blows. Then, in a separate incident at a Halloween dance, LaRusso doused Lawrence with water from a hose while Lawrence sat on the toilet. When the time came to settle things, I'm told, LaRusso ran and hid behind the skirts of his sensei, Hideo Miyagi, and used a detente with Cobra Kai to further antagonize his rivals. Wow, hard to believe that the All Valley Under-18 Karate Tournament officials would allow someone like that to compete. Well, that's where things take an even darker turn, Barnaby. Anonymous sources have told me that Sensei Miyagi misrepresented his student as a black belt to enter him in the tournament, and then conspired with the aforementioned Allie Mills to steal an official's black belt to cover the deception. Now, Barnaby, you know how I, I hate to editorialize, but frankly, from everything I've heard here today, LaRusso got what he deserved in this tournament. Okay, thank you, Dennis. I'm told we have an update on this story. Let's get right back to Carmen Waxon. Carmen, what's the latest? Barnaby, I'm just getting word now. Daniel LaRusso is going to fight? Daniel LaRusso is going to fight. Carmen, how is that possible? Uh, it shouldn't be possible. LaRusso's injury would put any athlete on the shelf for at least six months and surely his 10-minute recovery period has expired by now. Also, as Dennis reported, 
the Russo isn't a black belt, and therefore shouldn't be in this tournament at all. Wow, dramatic turn of events there. Let's get reactions from our fourth All Valley Under 18 Karate Tournament correspondent, Ellie Paint Defense. Ellie, your take? Well, Barnaby, to me, it's just another attempt by the All Valley Under 18 Karate Tournament to manufacture drama for drama's sake. From everything we've seen here today, Danny LaRusso has no business being here, nor does he deserve the championship that was, up until moments ago, the crowning achievement of Johnny Lawrence and the Cobra Kai dojo. That said, this last match will at least give Lawrence a definitive win, and there's no reason to believe that LaRusso is in any kind of condition to put up a fight. He's endured a grueling tournament, his knee is shot, and he doesn't have any sort of spectacular finishing move that we know of. It is important to note, though, that he is from New Jersey, so we can't rule out any kind of underhanded tactic. Still, uh, short of, say, scoring a point by an illegal kick to the face, Lawrence has this in the bag. Um, and he will go down in history in the All Valley Under 18 Karate Hall of Fame as the three-time champion, and deservedly so. All right, Ellie, thank you. We will stay on top of this story and have the final results of the tournament right after this. Stay tuned. You've been watching PNN, the Parody News Network.